escuela Y ahora tengo hasta los gringos conspirando Porque saben que el body lo está matando Ay, Suck my dick, motherfucker eh, Lo tengo mamando Another existential crisis that I be having. Um, can we just like consider the fact that we are not the main character for a second? Like, do you ever just remember that you're not the main character and that there is somebody else living a whole life that you know absolutely nothing about and they are completely different from you? And it's like you will just never get to know what that's like. Like, I will never know what it's like to be a cis white girl in the middle of I don't fucking know Sweden somewhere dating all these Swedish I don't know boys or something. Like, there is just something that is so crazy about the fact that every person's human experience is so specific to them. And this Swedish girl is just over there thinking that she is the main character. And y'all can say, yeah, reincarnation. And yeah, that's true. But still, I am currently living this life. So I don't get to live 2021 as a Swedish girl ever. You know, like what? And the worst part is that like this Swedish girl probably ain't thinking about me. She's probably not thinking like, oh my God, I never get to be that little like brown kid. Like, uh. but it's like, I think about it and it gives me headaches. Like, why do I think so much? Like, does anybody else think this thing's like on the ring? A lot of you guys have asked me to post a video that I made for Alexis to ask her out and all that shit. But the reason that I will not be posting that video is because first of all, there are minors in that video and it is not my place to go and post somebody else's kids on the damn internet, you know, basic. The second reason is that the video was something that was very personal to us. I personally don't feel comfortable going and putting, you know, like people talking about us and our relationship out on social media, despite it being, you know, obviously a positive video. It's still not something that I feel comfortable sharing because I don't like sharing every aspect of my relationship on the internet. Obviously we are social media people, but everything that we post is what we feel comfortable posting. What we show you guys is what we want to show you guys, but that is not all of our relationships so i just i just want to keep it personal it was something that was that was really just for me and her and and you know our little our, our our circle so so yeah it's just gonna stay that way but i love you guys and 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 i love you guys for supporting our relationship regardless nah no the fuck you not absolutely not no. part, nobody else speak this is my fucking part nobody else better not fucking speak this is my part glory be to god yeah <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Am I happy Guys, today? Guys, the Dating Straight podcast is officially out now. Please go watch that. Do not clown me for how nervous I look. I was extremely nervous. Um, I'm about to go watch it. And ooh. Guys, look, it's me. And that's Amy and that's Jack. Ah! You guys literally do not understand how nervous I was to film and how nervous I am in the video and how nervous I got when I met Cammie Scott. But you guys will go see it if you go watch the podcast. I love you guys so much. Oh my god. A lot of people got pressed in the comments of my videos. I wanted to respond to this one because obviously I know Dallas personally and like it's fine. I got some comments saying, oh, you can't force people to get a vaccine or do anything with their body that they don't want to do. And I think that that's completely valid. I'm obviously not here to put a needle to anybody's arm and force them to get the vaccine. However, I do think that it's irresponsible that people are using their platform to promote anti-vaxxing propaganda. The reason that I find it irresponsible is because a lot of the times when people go and make videos and are like, yeah, I'm not getting the vaccine, they go ahead and spread misinformation about what it is that the vaccine really is and what it is that it does. I also am fully aware that some people are allergic to the vaccine and can't get the vaccine for multiple reasons. I'm obviously in no position to force anybody to get the vaccine or to tell somebody what to do with their bodies. But as a creator, I think I am well within my right to go and share my opinion on how it is that I feel about people who A, don't get the vaccine or B, make jokes about the vaccine and COVID. Because again, it is not. If I get subject. some shit that I don't like, Alexis Carrasco, respectfully, I'm coming for your ass. How? Why it don't work? Why it's not working? I, why is why is it not working? Oh, okay. Ten, it's huh? If I don't get a FaceTime call with some explanations within the next four minutes. <laughs> Don't go near my scar. Don't go near my scar.